Welcome back to the Player Box, everybody. This is Black Senate, and I am back in Star Citizen. Now it's been a little while, and I'm here at Dumper's Depot. Um, but this is obviously the Father's Day weekend. There is a hot rod sale going on right now, as well as the opportunity to try out a couple of ships for free. So, uh, obviously, you all got, you all know, I've got the Anvil Hornet, the Kruger P52 Merlin, the Misk Freelancer, the Reliant Core, and the Origin 85X. But look, what's turned up? The Origin M50 Interceptor. So we're going to request that ship. Confirmed. Your Thank ship you. And we're going to go and check it out. Oh, where is it? It's, oh, it's over here. Right. So um, this is a ship I actually wanted to try and um, get my hands on at some stage because it's uh, it's top loading ship and it's a fast little bugger. And looks really cool. So, um, but the trouble is, it only pops up every now and then. You can't buy it normally. Um, it's usually on sale or as part of like now, like a Father's Day weekend special. So, if you want it, you've got to nab it when you can. Uh, I think it's quite a small ship. So, let's go and have a look. Ooh! And here we have it. This is the Origin M50. Interceptor. It kind of looks like it's hovering actually, just above the uh, platform a little bit, which is kind of weird. Let's see if we can. Yeah, look at that. Those wheels are definitely not on the ground there, so that's interesting. Whereas I clearly am on the ground, wriggling around like a worm. Right. So anyway, let's uh, let's try and stand up. So, what is good about the M50 Interceptor? Well, apart from the fact that it looks pretty cool, it's a nice sort of red, grey and white livery. Um, it's got these two mahoosive engines at the back, which I guess will kind of suggest why it's fast. This uh, go faster uh, rear here. And uh, it's got some wheels. So... Not very spaceship here if it's got wheels, but um, maybe you can fly it in and out of um, planets as well. Maybe land on planets, land on sort of runway type installations rather than just Port Olazar and places like this. So what does um, Robert Space Industries have to say about the M50? So they say, if you want to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible and with as much style as possible, then the Origin M50 is for you. Featuring supercharged engines that counter a tiny weapons loadout, the M50 is a ship for going fast. So just to, on that point, the hard points, we've got uh, two S1 M3A laser cannons, which should be... No, that's a bare marksman. Where are the old laser cannons? This must be here. I'm not going to get in yet, calm down. Here, is this it? Turret gun. A laser cannon and some oh, some ordnance on this one. That's kind of weird. It says it. Oh no, you do get two marksman HS1 ordnance as well. So not a lot in the way of weapons. But then you know you, to, you don't always want to kill everyone, do you? Sometimes you just, oh, there's another one. I better look. You just want to have a go on it, and you want to be flying around as fast as possible, and maybe escape. So let's check out the pilot seat. Ooh, this is kind of swish. Right. Origin jump works at your service. Course Thank you very much. Operational. Got a quite a jazzy cockpit here. Lots of glowy dialy things. None of which um, I can tell you what they do. But uh, there's some graphs and some statistical data down there. So I'm guessing it's uh, information of some sort. Uh, normal sort of HUD. No extra information. You do have though these little. Bubbles. I don't know if you can see these, but these bubbles around the outside here. I don't know whether these are like proximity indicators or what these are. If someone else can uh, comment what they are, that'd be great in the comments. But they're kind of cool. Oh, there's, he's got a rather boring ship right there. So um, let's take this bad boy out. Oh look! You can even see it in the cockpit. This proximity thing. It's like a halo. I can see your halo, halo. All right, enough of that. Okay, let's let's take this bad boy up. Whoa. Okay. Well, what's that? That's a kind of a cool ship down there, isn't it? Let's get these uh, landing gear up. 
very nice and shiny, stealthy looking ship really, all these jagged edges on it, flat surfaces. Looks very shiny like she's just had a bit of a polish. In the back here though, you can you can see a bit like the old Ferraris that you've got these see-through perspex windows so you can see the engines. Which say looks like AOOM on them, which is kind of cool. So uh, yeah, let's let's start moving forward, I guess. Oh, it is quick. Oh, it is quick. Look at that. That is very quick. Turn it on a dime. Alright, just don't crash. Just don't crash. No! Oh, I crashed! Well, that sucks. So yeah, it's a really nice looking ship. Um, I say it does look like it probably goes quite fast, and I think it, indeed it does. Um, so we're gonna take her out a little bit. Let's just have a look at the. Uh, let's turn her so you can see the station. We can get an idea of um, how fast she moves, can't we? Oh, look at that. It's very, very quick. Right. Straight away, you can tell just by moving left and right, or strafing, that it's a very quick ship to move around. Uh, I don't really seem to have much in the way of a HUD here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we've got a nice little graphic in the top left of, of the ship so we can see I guess shields and damage and things like that. Um, let's go to Yela. This is I mean, look, it moves around very quick. It's clearly a very light ship to maneuver. Uh, let's go to Yela. Oh, oh, where are you gone? Yela. Yela. Here we go. And here we are amongst the asteroid belt of Yela. There's Yela right in front of us. And somewhere around here is the uh, pirate base. Probably lurking behind something like that massive rock over there. Um, let's see what else we can see on the underside. Some nice lights. Um, that's about it. <laughs> um, looks a pretty nice vessel. I think it's pretty, if, if you want a, if this is like your first ship in the game, you don't want to be buying this because this is literally good at one thing and that is going fast. So if you just want a, a ship to take you from A to B quite quickly and look good whilst doing it, or a ship to use in sort of races and things like that, then this I think would be really good for that um, as well as just cruising around. But personally, now I've got my hands on this, whilst I do like the, you know, the fact you can see the engines and stuff like, like an uh, sort of Ferrari, um, I think I do prefer the 85X. A bit more like a Mercedes, you know. It um, goes pretty quick and it's solo, but it's um, it's not so. It's actually got a dual cockpit. But um, one thing I think this one does do. Ooh, we do have missiles. Look, looks like we've got some missiles. Let's see if we can find an enemy quickly, um, and maybe we can test out the old weapons. Those are the old uh, cannons. Let's go here. See if we get some pirates. Any pirates? Yep. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay out of this. Come on then, Nine Tails. Let's take you on. Now this is a very manoeuvrable ship, so we're gonna uncouple and try and swing past him. Do 
have missiles? Whoa. Okay. They're like extremely short range missiles. You can't, you can barely get a lock before he rush, rushes past you. But you really can turn on a diamond this ship. so quickly You do get missiles on this ship. Come on. No. So, although you do get missiles on this ship, they're pretty much useless. Because you literally have to be right next to the guy to actually use them. Either that or I'm a useless pilot, which is probably likely. That's that. Quantum travel engaged. Refreshing shields. Right, here we are at Quiet Astro. Again, Welcome very, very good. Astro Station. What can we do for you today? Slow right down. Trusted brands in ammunition and ordnance. Would you like to restock your ammo? Landing request approved. Pilot assist. There we go. And we're down safely. Let's watch ourselves get out. So, the... The Origin Jump Works M50. I say I wanted to get my hands up for a while. What do I think of it? Well... It's a little bit meh, really. I mean, it looks nice. It's quick. Um, its missiles are useless. Uh, its guns are useless. So if you're looking to collect all the ships, then I could definitely, you know, well, recommend it because you're going to get them anyway. But if you're looking for a ship to get and you like the look of this and you think it's going to be a good ship for the game, nah. It's more of a, it's a very niche, bespoke kind of ship. You know, it's only going to be used for certain things. Trekking in between planets, things like that. A little bit of a transporter. But you can only take one person in it. So if you want to use it for racing and things like that, do. But it's a bit like a Ferrari, you know. Looks nice, but um, not always the most practical or economical car. But, you know, fun to drive. This is quite fun to fly. But it's not fun to dogfight in. Which I think is going to be more important to people in Star Citizen. So... Yeah, this has been the Origin M50, guys. Uh, I'm Black Senate, and this has been the Playbox. Thank you much for watching, and do please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back with more stuff on Star Citizen very soon, as well as some more things. I believe John's returning from a little bit of a uh, sort of break due to having a child, so that should be good. 
Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, speak to you again soon.